Hello and welcome to Daily Devotion. I hope you've had a great weekend. Uh, we've just finished celebrating Mother's Day on Sunday and uh, I hope you ladies were all spoiled as I was. Uh, my husband put up a post about fettuccine uh, in, in this house live myself and my daughter. So uh, we're not big fans of flowers, uh, chocolates, yeah, but uh, flowers, maybe not so much. Not that we're not a fan. We just don't really um, but go out and buy them purposely for ourselves. So our husbands knowing that. Uh, they gave us a different kind of flour. They mixed it with egg and they made us beautiful fettuccine, cooked us a beautiful lunch. So we were very, very spoiled. Um, my thoughts always on Mother's Day go out to um, families who may be hurting on this day. I saw a few posts about families, you know, saying, Mom, first Mother's Day without you and and so on. So as much as Mother's Day is a beautiful day, it also can be a very sad day for some people. Um, I know women that haven't had children, um, so that can be a bit of a hard day for them. But uh, at Centerpoint Church, we made it a point from the very beginning to always celebrate all women on, Mon on Mother's Day. Uh, and we're very intentional about that. Uh, we're honestly, and I personally, and, and as a body, we personally believe that all women are in some way, shape or form, raising and rearing the next generation. They're influencing uh, and leaving a legacy with the little people that are looking at them. And uh, if you caught church Sunday morning, I put together a panel of women and we discussed that at length and uh, I really thought that this week we could just continue uh, that thought and uh, I just was I just believe we touched the surface with um, being, being generational and being influential so I thought this morning we could just continue with that we discussed, uh, we, you know, we brought up some scriptures and we discussed some theories and, and some other people's opinion. And uh, I really just want to maybe delve a little bit deeper into what it is about, about leaving a legacy and what it is to be influential in this world. And uh, with that, I want to be very intentional with this daily devotion. Uh, there's any minute now, we're waiting for a, a, an announcement from our um, Premier who's going to talk about maybe um, lessening the rules of this isolation. So with that in mind, I thought I might um, reduce the time of the daily devotion. We're going to get busier. We're going to start going out. Uh, so my thought with this devotion is just to equip you for the day with a thought, um, prod you to read your word and get into a habit of a daily devotion. Amen. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we just love you so much. We love your protection. Uh, you've kept us safe during this time of isolation. And I believe today a new chapter or a new version of our new kind of normal is going to start and we look forward to navigating that with you and with our faith in Jesus name. Amen. So yeah, like I said, on Sunday we spoke a lot about legacy and influence and uh, I, I believe that legacy is all about what you pass on. It's about what you are modeling. Whether you realize it or not, we are all leaving a legacy. My question is, what is the legacy that you're leaving? because you are influencing people that are watching you and you are modeling a lifestyle and people are looking at that and little people will begin to replicate what it is that you're doing. Legacy involves living intentionally and aiming to build into the next generation for their success. I love that. Legacy is about wanting better for the next generation, not being threatened by that, but actually intentionally going out of our way to make the next generation bigger and better than we could have ever imagined. What does it mean to be intentional? It means you are purposeful in word and action. So you speak it and then you follow it through with living it. Very, very important. You can't just 
say you're intentional or speak about being intentional or or about things you know you 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 believe in this and you believe in that but you don't live it because then those words won't carry weight what you say and do is on purpose it's deliberate it means you live a life that is meaningful and fulfilling to you it means you make thoughtful choices in your life being intentional means you actively interact and engage with your life so basically you're putting thought into how you live you're not just living so leaving a legacy and being an influencer is it's not going to take work i don't like using that word work it's going to be you being prayerful and mindful into how you live because you've made a, a revelation that there are people watching you um, and what you want to model you want to do well for their sake so that they go on to be bigger and better than you ever were and glorify God ultimately we want our lives to glorify God not for self although we do get great um, gratitude from doing that but so that others will continue in that legacy a question I have for us this morning is what are we intentionally aiming to build into the next generation for their success have a think about that what do you want to intentionally build in the next generation for their success and when I was thinking about that question I thought about my background I'm I come from an Italian background and uh, they're very committed to the next generation and uh, they watch their parents well this is my this was my experience and my family all my um, my parents and my aunties and uncles and my grandparents all migrated to Australia with the sole purpose of living a better life and leaving a better life to their kids their grandchildren and their great-grandchildren and I have um, great my my children had great great grandparents we only just lost the last one maybe three years ago so the the generational blessings that they came to Australia to fulfill was very successful um, they worked hard they saw their parents living a way that was not uh, fruitful financially Italians it's very much about money so they came to Australia to seek better jobs better income uh, bigger homes um, and then to to instill that in their children so that that legacy lived on Proverbs 13 22 says a good man leaves an inheritance to his children's children and I'd have to say I have seen that modeled um, to to almost perfection in our families both mine and my husband's um, because what our grandparents set out to do they they achieved a hundredfold legacy focuses focuses on what will endure and endure means to remain in existence so what do we want to have remain in existence that's what we want to live and leave as a legacy Romans 15 4 and 5 says whatever was written beforehand is meant to instruct us in how to live the scripture imparts to us encouragement and inspiration so that we can live in hope and endure all things. God is all about legacy. He's all about equipping us for now and for the future. Romans 15 5 says, Now may God, the source of great endurance and comfort, grace you with unity among yourselves, which flows from your relationship with Jesus, the anointed one. Legacy is about passing on things of lasting value to those who will live on after us. And when I read that verse, now may God, the source of great endurance and comfort, grace you with unity among yourself, which flows from your relationship with Jesus, the anointed one. And when I was pondering on that, that those two verses, because really that's what a daily devotion is. It's about just grabbing a couple of scriptures and reading them and pondering on that. And I thought, God is my source of great endurance and comfort. And we've been speaking at length about your relationship with the Lord and investing in that relationship and reading reading the word and, and, and making that relationship more fruitful, more deeper. 
to have deep roots. We talked about Jesus is the vine and God is the is the gardener and and we're in the vine, we're grafted in the vine and God is our our gardener and he prunes us and and lifts us when we're having hard times so that we will bear more fruit. And that's really what leaving a legacy is. It's about us um ingraining ourselves in Christ, in God, in his word, and then filtering that down to those that are looking at us. So this morning, what do we want our legacy to be? I know my legacy, I want to, uh, my children to continue in their faith. And at the moment we have our children and our grandchildren in church. And I just want to see that continue and continue and continue for the, every generation to come. That is my, probably my biggest prayer that I pray and I also want my children my children's children and so on and so on to live the plans and purposes that God has for them I don't want them to miss out because if we don't live in those plans and purposes then we're missing out that's really the legacy that I really pray for and live for a statement I heard in an interview with some very influential Christian women and I shared this on Sunday with the panel is it's not about you, it's about the generations to come. Lay that legacy, lay that plan, let them see you model what you really believe. And I thought about that statement for a while. It's not about you, it's about the generations to come. Lay that legacy, lay that plan, let them see you model what you really believe. And I love that. I think that is a very strong, awesome statement. But the thing is, when you lay that legacy, lay that plan, model what you really believe in, you're being intentional, you're actually living it as well. And you're not only living it, you're benefiting from it and you're reaping from it as well. So yes, living a legacy is all about the next generation. It's all about equipping them, empowering them to be successful but you're also the benefit of living a legacy because living a legacy is all about being intentional. It's about putting thought into your life, into your words, into your actions. Um, but the benefit of that is not just the next generation and their next generation and so on. You are also getting benefit from that life right now, right in the here, right in the now. It is for such a time as this, you know, we're sitting in isolation in the safety of our homes at the moment, um, but we're not suffering. And living a, living a legacy, being generationally minded, being influentially minded, yes, it's not about you, it's about the next generation, but you're not suffering in that. You're actually living in the fruitful life that that life is and I think that's really beautiful God is all about legacy he's so generational always speaking generationally from the very beginning teaching those he was talking to that what they did positive or negative would have repercussion to the generations to come both good and bad and that's really the thought that I want to leave us with this morning is what are we modeling what are we leaving Let's just take a moment to look back. Before I close this morning, let's just take a moment to look back and I wanna ask you a couple of questions. Who's looking at you? Who's following you? Who are you raising? You're not only living for yourself, you're also living for those. Those people that when you had took a moment and thought, who's looking at me? Who's following me? they're the people that you're living for. They're the generations that are to come. They're the ones that we intentionally live our lives for, for ourselves, for our relationship with God, but also then to filter down. What are we filtering down? Are we showing them the endurance of our faith? Are we showing them that when times get tough, we don't throw in the towel? We have a God who gives us endurance untold he gives us strength untold when we ask for it what are we modeling are we just speaking words or are we living those words so it is a little bit challenging this morning but i think it's good to challenge ourselves uh, i think it's good to be thought provoking i think it's good to search the scriptures for answers i think it's good to ask god to help you be generational help you be intentional 
help you to be a good influence whether we like it or not we are um, leaving a legacy and this morning I really want to encourage us to leave a positive legacy a legacy full of faith a legacy full of the Word of God I want to see the next generation and so on and so on in the house of God I want to see the house of God flourishing I want to see the house of God growing uh, I want to go back to miracles you know the I want to see lives changed, healings, miracles taking place. Uh, why not? Why can't we? Why can't we um, believe for those things uh, and just instill that in our children and in our children's children? Amen. So this morning, I just want to leave you with that thought, prov that provoking thought to just challenge you, uh, get your word out, start to scribe, start to write things down. What do you want to leave? What do you want to live and what do you want to leave? Amen. Thank you for joining me today for Daily Devotion. I look forward to tomorrow where we go a little bit more into what it is to be an influence. And we're going to unpack that a little bit more. So for the rest of the day, have a great day. Goodbye. God bless. And I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you.